Point Clare Village, there was an actual movie theater. And as teens, we used to go there all the time. It was on the north side of the Lakeshore Road, just past Cartier. And it was opened up by a, a very interesting man, and his name was Maurice Arpin. Uh, have you heard the name? He was the mayor. Yes. In between Olive's two runs. Yeah. And we go there and, and everybody, that was sort of a, a spot that everybody gravitated to. We went practically every weekend. <laughs> it was the only place besides Well, the St. Anne's had the Rex Theater. And um, if they didn't play the same movies, you went to one Friday night and one Saturday night. Was there one theater inside? Yeah. Oh, it was a big theater. It was a big theater, though. So it was, in a, it was a big thing when there was a movie? And oh yes, oh yeah, it would fill up. There was a concession stand. Right in the middle yeah, and yeah. then one door to go in. Yeah, to, on, two, on the oh, two, on two sides. sides. And the guy running the, the movie ups, you know, it was a big 18, the, uh, the, big, the big, big reels of yeah. film. And then he'd have to change it, you know. What, halfway through point. the movie? Yeah, well, halfway through the session they changed it. Is that why it. there was intermissions? Yeah. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. So we would come down and uh, on the bus and go to the movies and there were usually two movies on and there was the movie time news and you'd get all the news of, of what was going on in the rest of the world. You know, no internet then. They often had a little cartoon Daffy Duck Bugs or, or Bugs Bunny, the Road Runner, and you'd buy your usually buy some candy or something and a pop and uh, sit there and watch the movie. I think it was very popular, obviously, because you couldn't go in there, or get away from your parents, and neck with your girlfriend. Yeah, Marie Sarpin made sure that there was no hanky panky going on in this theater. You know, if you got too close to your girlfriend, you would say in, in an accented English, "Hey, you there? No monkey business in my theater." Tuesdays we had the uh, French movies, so uh, so that means that there was more English in the area than uh, they were French, you know. Would you go to the English movies? Huh? Oh yes, oh yeah. Is it the English girls or? No, no, no. The girls, no, no, no. I didn't bother with the girls. I, I was sports guy. I was playing hockey or whatever. <laughs> Most teenagers in my day, we didn't go to the movie theater to actually watch the movie. We went. And neck in the back of the theater. That's what we did, except him. Well, that's how I met him. He was sitting in, right down in the front with his girlfriend, and he looked like a soldier with his two hands in his lap, minding his own, but watching the bloody movie. So he became the joke of half, and they knew he was a cop. And there he was sitting like a, <laughs> we couldn't believe it. So that's how I met him, because everybody dared me. They said, see if you can warm him up. And so. See if you can warm him up? <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, uh, well, that's what happened. I remember because also as a policeman, the others, we were starting to flirt with them. I mean, there wasn't a whole bunch to flirt with around uh, Point Clare in those days, so quite a few of us ended up marrying those policemen. But anyway, I, I certainly remember those Rebel Without a Cause and all those movies. How important was that movie theater? Very, very important as to, to the teens, like uh, to us as teenagers, because really there was no, no place else to go, you know, on a, sat a Saturday night. 